what's up guys it's your girl brianna aka mini marley and this is my bedroom makeover Let's jump right into this transformation. So I've been living in this apartment for a little over a year and for most of that year, this is what my room looked like. I moved most of the decor from my last space into this one and it's pretty much very colorful, a little bit bohemian with the jute rug and the wicker baskets and we have some plants and it honestly speaks to my personal style. I love color, I love bohemian. I dream of a super bohemian office someday, but I got a new velvet bed in my room and it really just threw off the decor and I knew I could do more with this space so I went to home goods and picked up some pieces and this basically decided the direction that I was going to go in I found this rug this piece of art and I really loved it I was able to keep a little bit of the bohemian theme with this mirror and side table I added some corals burnt orange terracotta type of feel and I also found some art on Etsy and decided to frame it myself put that on the walls and that really helped me transform my space and this is what it was looking like i did this whole transformation only two months ago this was just the other day and i loved the way that it came out i found some nice throw pillows and a nice throw blanket to complete the look and it was honestly really nice again it spoke to the bohemian in me the pop of color i was really feeling it but everything changed when i decided i needed a new dresser so this white dresser that you see here has been with me for a few years now i purchased it on wayfair and it was just pretty cheap and it was starting Starting to kind of fall apart it had some scratches and I decided to change the knobs out in the hopes of preserving it but clearly this dresser was done for so I found a new one on wafer that I loved that was much better quality this is a great piece of furniture I love it but it turned out to be a lot more brown and heavy in the room than I expected going from a white dresser to this I just felt like it did not match the decor that I had just done I even added some of my own art on to the dresser as you can see here and it just wasn't working i did not like it so that brings us to where we are now i'm going to be transforming this room again and hopefully this time we can really bring this all together make the bed and the dresser match a little better and come up with a design that just feels right so i'm getting rid of everything that i have here even the art that i just created and i'm also getting rid of this mirrored jewelry case that i had my wicker basket it's, all of this has to go because it doesn't fit the direction that I want to go in as much as I love some of these pieces I'm going to have to let them go and see what I can come up with so I've already taken off my old sheets and now I'm taking down the art as well I'm going to be showing you guys how I hang my art using these command picture hanging strips and I just want to show you how amazing they are you can literally pull these frames off change out the art and then put them right back on and I'll show you that a little later this this is the only issue that I had one spot where the paint came off the wall but these things are so great and we'll get more into it later but now that my pictures are off of the wall I have a blank slate and it is time for us to get started so as usual I went to home goods first to get some inspiration for this and these are a few of the pieces that I found and the main thing that helped me decide on my new color scheme was this rug right here I felt like this was the perfect piece to marry the brown of my dresser and the gray of my bed and get a more cohesive design so now that I had a brown gray beige neutrally kind of color theme going on I went and looked for some new art on Etsy my favorite thing to do I like to create a pit collage to see how it will look together and then go to FedEx office to get it printed super affordable much more affordable than buying individual pieces of art online that already come framed so if you are looking for something specific to fit your room or your vibe or whatever aesthetic that you're going for definitely look on etsy and you can get downloadable prints get them printed yourself at a local printing shop or a fedex and then frame them yourself i got these frames from target by the way and they were also really affordable
as you can see these look super professional you wouldn't even know that i did them myself and they were a fraction of the price that they would have cost if i were to find all of these and buy them individually and this is what my collection or my collage looks like now i'm loving it and it's time to hang these art back up so as you can see i just go right back to where i had these frames put before and i'm able to just snap them back in place using these command picture hanging strips they are literally amazing you just line it up and push it in and make sure that you hear this snap And that pretty much lets you know that this is secure. They're not going anywhere. Like I said, I had had those other frames up for the past two months and nothing fell off the wall. They are totally secure, trust me. And this is how they work. You basically rip two strips apart. You go ahead and snap them together. It's almost like a Velcro type of thing, but not Velcro, much more secure than that. And you'll hear it snap together when you press it together. Pull off the paper on one side of your strip so that you can attach it to your frame or whatever you're hanging then you pull off the other side of paper and then just basically push it onto the wall make sure that you give it a nice firm push to make sure that it's really secure and that's pretty much it i literally swear by these i love them and they work so so well especially if you're in an apartment or somewhere where you don't want to ruin the walls so I added my last couple frames on the wall and I just wanted to show you how easy it is also to remove these strips. I promise this is not sponsored. I just love these because I think they're so amazing. But anyway, this is what the art is looking like now. I'm already loving this and I can see how this room is about to come together. So now it's time to make the bed. I found these sheets at Home Goods. They're just a nice neutral kind of taupey or beige color and I'm just applying them. Pro tip, apply your flat sheet first and then your fitted sheet and it will not slide off trust me do it that way it's better and then i'm going to put on this comforter i found also at home goods and it is just so soft i love this comforter i also got some new throw pillows all of them are also from home goods clearly there's a theme here home goods is like my favorite place for home decor along with target so once i added those i just needed a new throw blanket i searched for one online because i just wanted the perfect color that i had in mind and i found it on the sleep number website so random but it matched perfectly so i just went ahead and added that to my bed and this already looks 10 times better so here is that rug that I found on my first shopping trip to Home Goods, and you'll see that this really just brought the room together so well. I feel like this was really needed to create the cohesion between the dresser and the bed. Since one is brown and one is gray, I really needed to bring it together, and I love the way that this rug did that. Now I want to add some nightstands on either side of my bed. Just for functionality, I really like to have something there that I can rest things on. And I also thought it would be a great element just for design. So I found these on Wayfair. There is some really good furniture on Wayfair. You just have to look. And I was looking for a while. I didn't want to break the bank because I had just redesigned my room two months ago, spent a bunch of money. And I actually found these for only $67 each, I think but I'll link them in the description box below. And I bought new knobs for them so that it would match a little bit more with the decor that I was going for. I wanted to use gunmetal gray versus those silver knobs. And this is what my little side tables look like. They were so easy to assemble and again, super affordable. And I was so lucky because they matched almost perfectly with my dresser. So I was able to get the exact look that I wanted. I did do a little DIY project for this room makeover. I really wanted to put mirrors above my side tables, but they were so expensive online. And like I said, I was really trying to save money with this makeover and not go too crazy. So I found these over the door mirrors from Walmart, super cheap, literally $17.99 each. And I'm going to spray paint them to get the gunmetal color that I want them to be. 
so i'm just taping off the actual mirror i used a garbage bag cut in half to protect the mirror and then i used some newspaper on the second one so you can use either or just make sure that you tape it off really well and then i put some tarp down on the lawn and got to work this is a spray paint that i use and i will link that in the description box below as well i love this stuff i think that it came out perfectly for what i was trying to do and it was really easy i just spray painted it and then did a second coat after 10 minutes and it honestly dried pretty quickly I waited till the next day just to be sure that it was a hundred percent dry took off the tape just to see what we were working with and again i love the color of this i think it came out so nice the perfect gunmetal gray color that i was going for and again this was so affordable the mirrors were only 17.99 each plus the cost of the spray paint and it would have cost me a couple hundred dollars to get something similar to this and i think that this works perfectly for what i need it for so as you can see i'm using using my command picture hanging strips again to hang these mirrors like i said these are just over the door mirrors the kind that you would bring to college they are super lightweight which is why i'm comfortable using the command strips i put about five command strips on the back of these mirrors and hung them and they feel very secure i already love the way that this looks i was looking up so much inspiration on pinterest and i really just wanted to get a nice high class look but for a cheaper price and i think that i I nailed it so we're pretty much done with all the major stuff it's just time to add my decor i'm adding my books that i already had this is a little vase that i got from ikea and a little plant that i already had some new candles from home goods and then on this other side of my dresser i'm just adding two vases that i just bought also from home goods of course and this plant that i already had along with some candles I'm also gonna add these two plants in the center of my dresser and I feel like it just helps the TV box not look so ugly in that space. I really like how that helped. And for my nightstands, I'm just decorating with a coffee table book. This one is about Duke Ellington. All of this is from Home Goods, of course. I got this really nice kind of stone sculpture vase type of situation and another little plant. And I'm basically going to create symmetry on both sides of the bed by pretty much doing the same exact thing I found another coffee table book with a similar color scheme that same stone sculpture vase another little plant and on this side i added a candle and this is pretty much what my finished room looks like a total transformation but i love the way that it turned out this is much more neutral and muted than my past rooms that i've had and i think that it creates a much more peaceful environment again bohemian is still in my soul and i hope that at some point i can have an office that is totally bohemian but for right now i love the way that this room meshes with the rest of my house it is definitely so much more more cohesive i feel like i'm utilizing this space to the fullest and i'm absolutely in love with the way that it turned out i hope you guys enjoyed this video i definitely plan to do more home stuff in the future because this is one of my absolute favorite things to do i'm currently helping my best friend decorate her miami apartment so i'll definitely be showing you guys that once we're finished and if you enjoy this please give this video a thumbs up and let me know what you think of my new room in the comments below